Hi, I'm Miss Hall, and let's practice repeat and tell loops. Determine what is printed by the following code. So we have that x is assigned the value of 12. And we're going to repeat until x is less than or equal to 3. Well, x is not less than or equal to 3, so I go in this loop and it says x gets x minus 3. So 12 minus 3 is 9. Now I go repeat until x is less than or equal to 3. It's not less than or equal to 3, so we're going to keep repeating. x gets x minus 3. So now we get 6. And I check the condition. Repeat until x is less than or equal to 3. x is not less than or equal to 3. So I go in this repeat, and it says x is x minus 3, so x becomes 3. Now I have repeat until x is less than or equal to 3. Oh, x is 3, so we're going to stop repeating, and it's going to say display x. So what gets displayed is 3. Let's do another one. Determine what is printed by the following code. x gets assigned the number 37, and we're going to repeat until x is less than or equal to 17. Well, x is not less than or equal to 17, so it says x gets x plus 5. So x becomes 42. Let me check your condition. Repeat until x is less than or equal to 17. It's not less than or equal to 17, so I go inside the loop. x gets x plus 5. x is 47. Check. Repeat until x is less than or equal to 17. Well, maybe you're starting to see that every time we go in this repeat loop, we're adding 5 to the value stored at x. So that x value is never going to be less than or equal to 17. So this is an example of an infinite loop.